family, let's go ahead and get into the weekly recap. This is the portion of the video where I tell you guys the highs and lows of last week and the strategy that I'm taking into next week. So I don't really feel like I have too many highs. I'm just grateful. I've really been practicing daily gratitude. So every single thing that I have, the fact that I'm living, breathing, moving is a blessing. The fact that I have a safe place to lay my head, like the things that God is doing in my life, the relationship that I have with him. I've just been so, so, so grateful. So that's the biggest high. Um, I think the second biggest high is just seeing everybody just interact with each other in the doers community. Like they have really been showing up and participating in the weekly mini challenges and showing up for our co-working accountability sessions and just encouraging each other. And I think it's so beautiful to see God's people taking action and then having a safe space where they can, you know, communicate about how their weeks are going. So it's just a beautiful family. And I am again, just so excited just to grow with people who are on the journey um, and growing closer to Christ and being consistent. So if you want to join again the link is down below it's completely free for you to join now the lows for me this week was I've been experiencing a lot of fatigue and I kind of talked about this last year but I'm finally gonna actually do something about it at first I was just focusing on just kind of drowning it out with caffeine and like the charged lemonades from Panera which I am obsessed with but I've been noticing that I don't want to really depend on caffeine so I'm going on a gut healing journey I think that um, that's something that has been wrong probably for a while that I haven't addressed because I just was dealing with a lot of fatigue and bloating and like some digestive things and so I believe that changing um, just some of the foods that I eat and eating more gut friendly foods um, will definitely be benefiting me also, I kind of fell off of my workout routine, so I'm working to put things in place to get back consistent with that. And I think that changing my diet will definitely give me more energy so that I can show up at the fullest capacity at the gym. Another thing that has been really kind of weighty as far as me not being consistent in the gym is not eating enough. So I really am just going on like a whole like food reset um, because I can't even drink like protein powder because it like breaks out my skin and I've tried some of the plant-based ones that don't have like that dairy and whey protein but I haven't had any luck so it's been taking me a little bit more to just find the things that I need so that I can fuel my body properly. The second low for last week was unfortunately while I was filming this video that you're watching right now um, I experienced some harassment from some old men who just don't know how to mind their business okay um, so that was a low and just an annoying part of being a woman alive walking on the earth um, but God is faithful you know he's protecting me and just told me to kind of like leave that space because clearly you know some people don't have good intentions so we'll leave a pin in that um, the strategy that I'm taking into next week is pretty much the same waking up early between 5 30 and 6 a.m getting back on my workout routine and just really making sure that I'm fueling my body well. So I just did a new grocery haul with a lot of gut friendly foods. So I'm excited about that because I think that that's going to have a huge impact um, on my energy levels and like just making me feel more comfortable um, in my body so that I can show up for myself because productivity is linked hugely with, you know, your overall health. And I really want to be a good steward of my body and not just say that I'm going to work out or say that I'm going to eat healthier, but actually put those things into action. So that will be a huge focus for me this week. And let me know in the comments how your week is going. I would love to hear your weekly recap. And if you're not already part of the Doers community, definitely join because we'll be releasing a new challenge every single Sunday. So I love you guys. If you know a sis who needs to get her life together, definitely send her this video so that we can plan and be consistent together. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.